long ass be, nigga. <laughs> just show, bro. Yeah, I guess it's like welcome to the Return of the Mac podcast, I guess, or whatever. It's gonna be like a shit show, like an amalgamation of a bunch of shit, man. Honestly, there's no real structure to it right now. We're just gonna be like kicking it with these niggas, talking about whatever and anything, honestly. On my way here, I was bumping up. What's the guy's album? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hold on. we'll be back. Back to what I was talking about. I was bumping, um, what's that guy's, his, Negro Swan. Who's that again? Negro Swan? Who that? Blood Orange. Oh, I haven't gotten oh, to Blood Orange. You guys used to it? No? Not yet. Yeah, BC, but not really. What do you not really, bro? I'm just going to talk to you niggas about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, this is, man. The camera comes out, they clap off, I don't know what's going on, bro. And it's been out, too. It's just as soon as you hit record. Hey, it's been out? No. <laughs> hey, yo. Chill. Man, I'm, honestly, the album's really good, bro. It's like... I was meaning to, but... You know. You didn't listen out to one song. I heard one more, one track, I think. What song? Uh, Probably Charcoal Baby. Uh, I think so. Or Jewelry. Yeah, Charcoal Baby's really, really good. He has a song with Steve Lacey. That one's crazy. How, how awesome. long has he been out? Because this is the first time I hear about it. This is his second album, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. I, thought, I thought you guys put me on to him. Like, either you or Arkham. Yeah, probably Arkham. Probably Arkham. Yeah. But he spams the chat with a bunch of random shit, so I don't know. <laughs> That's why it takes forever to get to it. Yeah. Right? Uh, it was good. It was really good. Anyway, continuing on talking about music. We're going to talk about the GOAT. I'm not going to get to it. All right. We're talking about the GOAT, <laughs> Kanye. And it's not the GOAT. Calm down. Excuse me? <laughs> Yikes. Wait, no, wait, just, no, no. Repeat, repeat <laughs> what you just said. You're going to say he's the GOAT? Bro, it's... It's not even a discussion anymore at this point. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, my nigga's he's out there. there. He's out there, though. You got it. You got it. Nobody's better than him. In what sense? In everything, bro. In everything, no. Who's better than Kanye? Lyrical? Come on, lyrically. Who's better than Kanye? Lyrically? I can Who's name better? at least 50 people. I can name at least 50 people? <laughs> yes. You can't even name two, bro. Jay-Z's worth for 20, bro. Jay-Z's 100 years old. What are you talking about? He's out of the question. <laughs> what? He's still better than Eric, man. And Kanye. Come on. What has Jay-Z said? And the producer, Pharrell's probably better. Mayo Color, Benz, I Push, Miracle Whips. That is over any Jay-Z disco- like, discography, anything. What is Jay-Z's that's up to there? Up to what? Up to that like that level in terms of bars. You don't you, you even take it in. I, I can't take... I okay, can't, okay, I can't okay, speak bars repeat. for you right now until I know Jay-Z's better. And we all know. You want me to repeat the bar? No, it's cool. Go ahead and do it. Because I know you want to. So. I, I, I forgot this. <laughs> so. the point is, there's no, okay. Jay Z's for the older niggas, man. At this point, I feel like you guys are escaping for old niggas. Calm down. I'm wrong. 40, 444 was for the old people. Oh, that was good. That was, I was it's for everyone. When it first came out, I was like, before it came out, I mean, I was surprised. I was scared. I was like, is it going to be trash? Or Kendrick. Far better lyrically than Kanye. Wait, wait, Mom. that's not even a conversation because Kanye admits right. that he doesn't write, like right. write his own shit. All right, I was so. trolling a little, but yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Now let's get to producers. Who's a better producer than her? Pharrell. You're you're bugging. You're bugging. Kate Trinata. This nigga just started yesterday. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. He's still oh, better. Oh, okay. You're it's stupid. Not that's you. No, 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 no. Pharrell's in the discussion. Kate Trinata. Pharrell's in the discussion. Still early. Yeah, y'all it's still lie. early. Bro, you're crazy. I like Kachinata, but it's still early. It's Haitian pride. Hey, like, yo, relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> Kachinata's not even at his ankles, bro. Chill. Come it's on. He's not even at his ankles, bro. Kanye? Kanye! You're bugging, man. Come on. Pharrell's okay, bugging, I'll, okay. Pharrell's Pharrell's yeah. I'll say it. Pharrell's the conversation for sure. Because Pharrell is crazy. But uh, I don't know about Kachinata, bro. But that already shows that he's not greatest of all time. That gives already two aspects in which he's not the best. What? No, I was okay. I was trolling when I said everything, but he's still the goat. Okay, I was mad. Like, you could make that case. I feel like, but like, just, I don't know, man. Like, you'd have to think about it. Like production, not really. Like, yeah, you. Nah. Yes, you do. What are nah. you talking about? You have to think about it, bro. It's, it's not that. It's not that. Hard. Think about it. You say, I mean, think about the last one. The best. Like, it wasn't time, that. that I mean, it was amazing, don't get me wrong, but, like, it didn't flow together as well as it could have. Right? It, it felt more like, more or less like a playlist. 
It was amazing. Oh, Lord, that's like a playlist, my nigga. It was seven tracks. Okay. I know. Well, I know, but for, for, seven for tracks. seven tracks, no, for seven no, tracks, he could have made it flow better. It could have been more clear. He's bipolar. Okay. That was the point. Like, it was contrasting. Three tracks in. The first three tracks were like, boom, 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 boom. Last few tracks, he's like sad. Excuse me. Violent Crimes is at the end. That's what I'm saying. That was not. A, that was not a soft trap. Yeah, it is. What? 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 <laughs> what are you talking about? Yo, get this guy a drink, bro. Bro, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm quite parched. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is a surprise. Oh, wow. Oh, what, what, what is what is that? What is that bottle saying? Is this Fiji? Uh, is this the best water alive? Yo, he put in tap water in here. He put tap water in here. Why, why you fuck up the bag? <laughs> <laughs> this water right here is the best water I've ever tasted in my Pretty life. Sure it's oh the my sign god! Here. Whenever I come home from a long day of work, I just Aquafina go into my fridge. I fuck with Aquafina. My nigga, I will snuff you on camera. Aquafina is trash. Come on. Right? You drink Nestle. That's <laughs> good. Bro. You drink Nestle. That's is good. No, I don't want to hear it. It tastes like fish piss. Aquafina tastes funny, bro. It, it, tastes, tastes, like, it, it tastes like there's still mud in there. They forgot oh. to filter it out, bro. It's kind of funny that a Haitian's talking about mud. <laughs> 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 okay, Brazzaville. <laughs> okay, Brazzaville, yeah. I will get you reported, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about again? I was good. I was parched. Yeah, I'm saying, it's the best water in the world, bro. Whenever you're thirsty, just get Fiji. I got you, bro. If you need some water, I got there's you. There's no minerals. What does it taste like? It tastes like... It's like if Rihanna had bath water. It tastes like <laughs> and Yo, then she let me, it tastes like oh, tap water. And then she bro. let like Eva Mendez shower after her. Yeah, this is and my first time having Fiji and I can and say remember, it tastes like tap water. I will stuff you. Remember that lady remember that lady from uh, Rush Hour three or two? Which one? The Spanish one. They're spying on her across the street. Oh my god. Her. She was bro. a dirty <laughs> Her. That's their bath water. That's what Fiji water is. That's how good it is, that's what I'm saying. This guy's talking about Aquafina. And the sun. Uh, and okay, filtered man. water. Aquafina is trash. I'm telling you. That's it. I'm not rolling with Aquafina. But Nestle? Nestle is fine, man. Yo, it tastes like mud. Like you can get like 30 bottles for a dollar. You, can, <laughs> you, you know why? <laughs> you know why? <laughs> That's not water, bro. Yeah. It tastes fine. Mm -hmm. Salty, bro. No. Okay. Salty. Right. Nestle is 100% salty. Pure Life? I'm talking about Pure Life, right? The one with the Kirby bottle? Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't know what it's called. Bro. I don't. Pure life. Yeah, the curvy water. Salty. Canadian is the only water that's not salty. It's not salt. I don't taste that. Though. Like Aquafina tastes like they put some weird in it. Like it same for the sun. The sun tastes like something else. Like it's not supposed to be drank. Like. Nah, bro. You can taste the minerals. The <laughs> minerals, bro. Is that what you call it? It's mineral water. Is it not? Nah, it's actually not. By accident. Like they didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out like that. They're like, I guess it's mineral. Water. <laughs> Whenever I brought this up in the chat, oh, this is just gonna be a big debate, a little piece of shit. <coughs> I brought this up in the chat, and then bitch ass Hugo was like, "Oh, even Jizz even picky about water." <laughs> yeah, you are picky. Nah, you are picky. Nah. Okay. You are picky. Tell us how we're at Canada's Wonderland, right? Right. And we're hungry, so we go, of course, outside the park. Mark <laughs> comes at the house rolling right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so we find we find an Afghani spot, and he's like, uh, "I'm not sure about these people's food." Wait, this guy's Afghani. <laughs> was it Afghani? Is it, it Afghani? Afghan? Or was I it Pakistani? It? Huh? Oh damn, we're mad. Whatever, whatever, yeah. Okay, whatever. Afghani, Pakistani. He's like, uh, "I'm not too sure about these people's food." <laughs> Whoa, you just what? Crazy. I didn't say that. That's what you. It sounded like that. I said, like, "I don't know, about bro." That. So we're trying to argue, argue with him, and he says, "Ah, fuck it. I'll get a pizza." So we go, we have a meal of kings. I'm telling you, a meal of kings. My nigga, you look hella sweaty when you came out. You look, <laughs> you look all right. You look like you're like, I don't know what's going to happen. So then we come out. In the next 30 minutes. So then they come in to meet us, and <laughs> she looks mad disappointed. Nah. Yo, your chicken oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, take it. <laughs> Hold up, time up. You see, you came with me, right? We got chicken. There, yeah. yeah, we got chicken and fries. So this man orders, a chi this man orders chicken tenders, I think, and fries. Bro, and man. the chicken tenders were like... No, but how I, big was it when it was raw? Pause. Huh? How big was it when it was raw? <laughs> hey, yo! But that doesn't matter, though. I look when it was cooked, though. The man bamboozled me, bro. <laughs> and when he first came, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Is it big? The man stayed quiet for a while. I was like, and he brought it out. He's like, yeah, it's this big. You see this one? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. 
Man, ordered chicken tenders. Got about three nuggets instead. But <laughs> <laughs> it was still better than biryani, bro. He didn't have it, bro. Uh, what? <laughs> did you try? It? Did you try it? What? The the food we had. No. Oh my and you guys are on my ass, bro. No, but I'd eat it though. He, he would at least it. try it. I'm, Rihanna's good, man. You had it before? Yeah. Okay, so you you have so you didn't even want to try it. Reason though. <laughs> oh, we know like, why. Yeah, you don't no, like plantain. No, you don't like plantain. Go back to this. We know why BC has brown food. I'm not doing this. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> The brown food is good, man. Yeah, why is that? What else what is spice? I like spice. Let's leave it at that. What else is brown and good? I like spice, man. It's like a nice. bro. Anyways. And what are you saying? I was saying you also eat plantain. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's stop right there. You said plantain. It's plantain, bro. It's not plantain. Plantain. It's plantain, bro. Plantain. Whatever, bro. Plantain, bro. I'm I'm speaking French. Don't worry. Plantain. Yeah, plantain. Plantain. Yeah. Plantain. You said plantain. Though. Yeah, but I'm speaking French, so you don't know. Okay. It's plantain. Though. Okay, but you don't know. Do you speak French, sir? I don't. That's a good grade. So cycle language. down. Plantain is not that great. <laughs> yeah, because you never had proper plantain. You probably went to Jerry's backyard barbecue and. My <laughs> feet. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about that shit for eight days. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I got a good one. I got a good one. I'm gonna come on the podcast. I'm gonna kill him. Gio's the type to go to Wild Wings or, and order your chicken, and then say he doesn't like your chicken after. Nah, nah your chicken is good one. So you know something. No, just a, as an example. Yeah, yeah. like you gotta go right. Please. Okay, where would you have plantain then? I mean, I'm I'm growing up, I'm African. I mean, it's always around. Bro, plantain is Caribbean, and you know it. Stop. First of all, you're not even Caribbean, you're Haitian. Excuse me? <laughs> Pull up a map, nigga. Nigga, dude, regardless of Pull up a map. This nigga's country is on the map too. <laughs> okay, no, no one can point that out. Mauritius. You can't even see his country. It's not even a real place, bro. <laughs> 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 so, Say hello, yeah. Oh. Yeah, anyway. I, I know about eight Mauritians, maybe. No, that's a stretch. And they all look different. Maybe like six. You can't tell they're Mauritian. It doesn't sound like a real place. Racially if ambiguous. everyone that comes from that place looks different, I feel like it's like a pact. That they would, it would be like, <laughs> we're all going to say we're from this place. <laughs> like, bro, wait, wait, As a that. union, they draw in. They made up, we're from Mauritius. Alright, what did I write down here? Uh, yeah, there's no transition to this, but this was on my mind. What do you guys think about um girls that are like I date to marry? I date to marry. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. At our age, no, that's crazy, bro. You date to get to know the person. You don't date to marry. Them. No, but there's an end goal. I'm <clears throat> sure. But yeah, but if you make that your end goal, then you get a. No, I'm not saying you get get yourself with someone you don't belong you with. You're like, oh, but I need to. No, no, like I understand what they mean when they say that, though. Right, like you don't, like. You don't date somebody just to be like, okay. No, I'm saying you date someone to get to know them. Like, marriage shouldn't be on your mind. Of course, yeah, no, but like, okay, you're saying marriage shouldn't be on your mind? At a certain point. Well, like, because the first thing you should be focusing on is getting to know the person, right? If marriage is even on your mind, it, you get into that point where like you're locked in with that person. Even now though, I think we're having another debate. We have to, you kind of have to know the person a certain amount before you date them, no? Because what are you doing getting to know them by dating them? Not necessarily. What do you mean necessarily? You're just going to date someone you don't know? <clears throat> well, they always start out as strangers, no? I mean, yeah, you meet them and then you yeah, take them out on a date. But that's the talking then... phase. Mm-hmm. We're talking about like dating, like dating. Oh, huh. Boy, huh. Girlfriend, okay, girlfriend. okay. Well, I'm not saying like, okay, I'm not saying you have to like put marriage out there, right? But like, like marriage. I'm kidding. I'm, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, fair enough, yeah. but you know. Like, obviously, there's, there's got to be, like, some kind of end goal there. Like, you don't... Like, if you're dating someone, like, people don't... I don't feel like people go into relationships to be like... Okay, What's your end goal, you see? Don't worry, man. <laughs> I'm saying... <laughs> yeah, that was even more suspicious. Don't worry, man. <laughs> I'm saying... It's not about me. I'm saying, like, you don't go into a relationship thinking, like, six down, like six months down the road, like, this going to be over. Yeah, you're thinking here and now. Am I yeah, enjoying my time with this now. person? It's a bit of both, man. You have to think, like... How do I like this now versus how am I going to be long term? Okay, think about this. If you're thinking long term, right? And in this moment, you're like, possibly. Yeah. And then you get you start getting yourself into that trap. It's like, like, 
you think that you you should be able to get over anything that happens, right? Like, I feel like that's how often people get trapped in a relationship they do not belong in. What do you mean? <clears throat> you said if you're in the moment and you think maybe or whatever, and then you think about long term. What do you, I, don't, I don't really get what you're saying. Where it's like, you already get yourself in the mindset that this might be your okay. partner for life, right? Just, just... At the back of your thought, sure, so this you, might be, yeah, right? Okay, I get what so you're now, saying. you guys are dating, you guys are dating, let's say, let's say your partner does some disrespectful shit, right? I don't know. I, I don't know. Not, not me. <laughs> 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 I'm not the one, bro. He nah. does it. Or, let's say nah. they show you signs that they're not the person, but you you already started you gotta, forming you gotta, a thought in your mind that this is the person for you. You gotta, you gotta teach them. You gotta, bro, it's about communication, bro. You gotta let them know. Yeah. Like, I don't know what Jim meant by that. But yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? You're controlling. Bro. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm working on it, which is why I'm taking a break from dealing with like people like that. But yeah, like I feel like we all have our flaws. I'm controlling. You're a bitch. It's like <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I, 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 know, I, know, I get what you're saying though. Mm. But I don't know, man. Still like going in the dating to marry right now. It's scary, bro. Especially at this age. Mm-mm. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I want to. I want to change my answer. You don't go in to marry. You, you're kind of in the moment, right? But like, you know, I wouldn't say in the moment. Just to get to know the person, right? Yeah. See well, if. See if you. Yeah, just get to know the person. I still. I don't know. You have to know them before you go into the relationship. Yeah, that's a pretty. Okay, thing. but that depends on what you mean by know them. Like, let's say. Well, you don't really know somebody. I do. They say they say you don't really know somebody until you move in with them. That's oh, what I mean. Yeah, that's true. Man. So, I'm saying it takes years to really get to know a person. All right, there's a difference between really getting to know someone and knowing someone. Right. You know what I mean? Nah, bro. All right. Like, you yeah. can think no, there's no difference. So you're going to talk no to a girl for years before dating her? You see, that's why I'm saying there's a difference between the <laughs> words you're using. You're using, right? fuck boy. The word, yo, fuck <laughs> out of here. You're a fuck boy. Yo, fuck out of here. It's been three years. The words we're using are different. <laughs> I'm getting to By dating, I mean from the day you go on your first date and no, you, you guys keep that up. You're a fuck boy in the world, man. Fuck if you're getting to know someone three years in. Bro, you, so you think you know a person within a month? Within two months? I'd say a month. You don't know a person, bro. Eight, ten. Eight, ten months and you know a person. Not know, but I'm saying Bro, you know, know them enough to, to think by to be you know. like my girlfriend or not. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm talking dating is from the day you first start. Since that first date. And I'm controlling. That's not dating, bro. What do you mean? Bro, dating and then girlfriend. Huh? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what? Is that a- first you guys start dating and then you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend. No, we're chatting first. <laughs> And then <laughs> fuck more. <laughs> 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 cool. so, Yo, they're going on dates regularly. It's like, nah, we're talking. Chill. Let's talk. <laughs> Isn't that that's what yeah, talking? Fuck boy, bro. You guys are thinking the same thing. It's just different terms. Right? Yeah, but he wants to. He wants to disguise the romance because he's a fuck boy. Yeah, yeah. I see you. So right. talking and dating versus dating then relationship. Yeah. It's <laughs> the same shit, bro. Honestly. Is it though? It is. It just depends on what you want to call it, right? Okay. How you want to mask things or anything. But. All right, so let's say you're in that talking phase or whatever. Uh-huh. Right? And then she hits you with a text late night. Mm-hmm. Are, you, okay. are, are you wrong to assume that she wants <coughs> treatment? She's wrong to assume I'm awake. Nigga, I go to sleep at ten. Fuck out of here. You're the, I will answer you in the morning. How are you old and young at the same time? You're twenty two, we act like you're sixty five. That face. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, it's just like, yeah, bro, bro. Cause, uh, Cause take it in. I have to wake up at seven. We're not talking about that. Nigga's going out with this whole schedule. I'm talking about the so I have to wake up at seven? <laughs> I still can't get used to that. Oh my god, st- it's been years. I, I know. I still can't get used to that. Don't you have 8 a.m. classes? I make my schedule. Oh, it must be nice. U of T. Excuse me. U of T. Rich. Okay. Rich. I don't think it's wrong to assume. Yeah. Necessarily. As long as you're respectful about it. Yeah, 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 you're right, I guess you're right, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah if, if you're respectful about her and she gets angry, like, I don't, like, see, the, I don't right. see what's wrong if you're respectful. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what are you talking about, Shadow? 
<laughs> you respect her, but she gets angry. Because you're saying, okay, um, are you wrong for assuming, that assuming she, right? Yeah. And if he's saying, if you're propositioning respectfully, mm-hmm. let's say she gets angry. Like, oh, oh how dare you? No, oh, I just want to talk. Yeah. Well, I was respectful, so yeah. you're wilding for no reason. That's what happen, that happens three times. At what point do you have to cut her off? Calm down, bro. Mm. There's no cut off? No, I like... I wouldn't say cut off. That's okay. You already knew. I, since the first time, now you know that she hits you up randomly at night. Yeah. So already you should know. She sounds like a fuckboy. What? <laughs> so you're talking to boys? I just said she sounds like a, a fuckboy. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say no. I get what you're saying. You're saying like at that point you you know that that's not necessarily what she wants. Yeah. Right. So, so if by the third time, then maybe you're doing something wrong, you know? That's true. Like, yeah. Could you make more noise, Andy? Honestly, this cameraman's a noise. <laughs> Loudest cameraman in the business. He's <laughs> walking <laughs> off, taking breaks and shit. <laughs> yeah. oh, Say hi to the camera. Hmm? Oh, now you're shy. Okay. Okay, so a little more on the same page. Um, sorry. So let's say you get past that text. She invites you over. And you know it's for whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you have to work for it? What do you mean? Do you, you have, have to work, work for it? it? Of course, you have to court her. What do you mean? If she called you over, yeah, for a specific reason, okay, you're saying I still have to court her. Did she explicitly tell you we're gonna fuck? <laughs> Ooh, shit. Did she explicitly Ooh, tell you that? Shit, yeah. But I can think of a scenario, allegedly, hypothetically. Where that happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then it's foreplay at that point. Yeah. What, you're just gonna jump at it like a rabbit? <laughs> Calm down, bro. <laughs> We're all just babbles, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, It could be a sense of romance, if that's what you're talking about. <sighs> what? Romance at 3 a.m., bro? What? what? Why not? If, if you didn't want to be there at 3 a.m., why'd you go? Hey, man. People have needs. Okay, fat. <laughs> Alright, but like. <laughs> It, de- it depends, but it depends. Depends on the girl, depends on the guy. What do you mean it depends on the girl? No, because like maybe maybe she's just down to just get it over with, right? You don't know. This is true, right? No, but the premise he's saying is that she doesn't want to jump at it like a rabbit. Right? Okay. That's the premise, the premise he's giving. So That's fine. He's saying you would foreplay, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, like she's already like explicitly said like this is what's going to happen. So we know <laughs> what's going to happen, right? We know what's gonna happen. Yeah. So I don't see anything wrong with like working towards that. Like for so play, whatever that might be. You get there. Yeah, he falls asleep. Yo, let's order a pizza while we're at it. He puts it in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so much like I don't know, man. Oh god. Go should, should, should we tell them about what Yannick said? If they're watching the Netflix, earphones? she puts her hand on his thigh. That's it. <laughs> That's not okay. It's not okay. <laughs> not okay. <laughs> <It works>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't picture. Yeah, Yannick would definitely do that, bro. Yannick is wrong. Well. You were saying about Yannick? <clears throat> oh, the earphone? <laughs> yeah, did you want to come tell them? Nah, I'm good. So. Can we tell them? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. This is not true, though. He can't hear you. <laughs> it's not true. All right, man. It's not true? Okay, so how's about we all tell a piece of the story, and if it flows into... If it just flows, then we know that it's the same story, right? BC, start. You're best. Wait, what are we talking about? About BC and the earphones. <laughs> oh, the earphones. Um, yeah, that's disrespectful. You, that's you, you, you can't be putting in earphones and, you know. What if she puts earphones? I don't think we're giving the same. St- okay, so what happens is Yannick says that he likes music while he's fucking. Right? Okay. So I, I, I'm saying, okay, so, like, you're putting on speakers or something, right? Naturally. Naturally. And this really happened. <laughs> oh, allegedly. All right. And he's like, nah, nah, I, I won't be able to hear it. She'll be making too much noise. <laughs> this guy's patting himself <laughs> on the back. <laughs> this nigga's head. She'll be making too much noise. <laughs> no, he's, he's just like, he's just like, he doesn't want the music to be disturbed because he likes his music that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, I gotta put in an earphone. I'm like, whoa. So you're fucking a girl and you put in earphones. While you're fucking her. And he's like, yeah, of course. 
He's like, because I don't want to hear her moaning and shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that is a different breed. It's That's something else. That is something else. You're a prime fuckboy. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like, oh. poor girl, man. Allegedly. Yeah, okay. Sure, allegedly. Yeah, all right. We know, we know your past, man. We know your stories. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Schneider sent me this tweet. Mm-hmm. It was Fiji, though. I can't, no, it was Fiji. The Fiji is made. Well, I can't speak. Words. <coughs> I forget if you take some water to help me speak properly. It's tap water, guys. <coughs> I think I turned that too, man. We don't drink tap around here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't drink tap around here? Is that really? You mean Fiji, bro. There are Fiji dispensers everywhere. <coughs> Alright, you want to move on to this tweet? <coughs> sure. Alright, since you it was your tweet and you shared it, mm-hmm. <coughs> you go ahead and talk and start about it, whatever. Oh, send it? Sure. So, you can give like the premise or whatever. No, just go ahead, go ahead. I mean, it was your tweet you brought it up. Okay, go ahead. Why are you being timid, man? Just relax. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Gilles asked us to bring tweets that what had us feeling some type of way or something? Sure. So, I'm cut that out. But this is like really like, 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 He said I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> so why not? Why not? I guess, yeah, I guess Just right. be genuine, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so I just happened to find this tweet where this white guy, he's a tourist in was it in Uganda, and he always gonna be a bitch. I'm kidding. Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah. And this guy's wilding on the hotel. Uh, on the, the staff, yeah. talking about they hate Jesus, uh, he wants to kill them, he's trying to beat one up, he's chasing one around the hotel. He trying to beat one up, it's crazy. <clears throat> you just want to play for a bit? Just to hear it. Yeah, for sure. Because this guy's, the audio's going to be bad, I think. Play to the mic. I don't think it's picking it up. iPhones. He's punching the guy right now. Yo, this is wild. He should get deported or some shit. Why is he <laughs> allowing him to do that? <laughs> okay, just put the tweet in the comments or something. But, like, yeah. I don't know. It was crazy, bro. Like, how are you going to go to this country, disrespect the staff for, like, and he's not even fighting back. The guy's not even fighting back. Yeah. Because he's like, if I, I fight know. back to this white uh, tourist, I'm fucked. I admire that guy's patience. Holy crap! Mm. I feel like he spat on him at some point. Like the, the the white guy he spat on the black guy. He slapped bro. him in the shit. He spit on me. I'm throwing hands, bro. bro. That's the that's that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's spitting is the most disrespectful thing you can do to someone. I mm. feel like if yeah. you spit in my <clears> face, <throat> like what? I don't. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at that point, bro. All right. What if? What if? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, I got to check. All right, what if <clears throat> this crazy white woman? No, no, fuck she's not crazy. White woman, she got very angry at you and she spat in your face. What are you doing? I'm finding the closest woman and telling her to fight her. Facts. Nah, BC, no, 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 you can't write off his answer. You can't just find your answer, bro. Um, well, I wouldn't fight her, obviously. Yeah, I can't fight a woman. Oh, hopefully I'm with my cousin Beverly. She boxes and she would. She would she knock would her out right then and there. She got scary. <clears throat> but I don't know, like, if someone spits in your face, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, they I they feel like die. you're seeing red right away. Yeah, they have to die. So. You don't really know what you're going to do in this situation. No, I'm going to murder them. Hmm? What? Okay. No. Honestly, <laughs> okay, let's say I'm on my own or something, or... Honestly, I just spit right back in her face. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Treat others how you would like to be treated. So she's spitting in Megan's face. Clearly, she wants to be spat on. Megan, no! I was right back in no! her face. No! Oh, no, yes! no! No! Why is she spitting on me? Okay, what's the premise? Bro, Why is she spitting on me? But you're, the basis behind what you're doing is like, treat people like they want they, they, to treat you is what you're saying? Yes. So if she were to slap you, you slap her back? <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> like, nah, you can't use that okay, The difference is that spit is not, I'm not like hitting her, bro. That's assault, bro. So she committed assault too. Yeah. Self defense. Mm. I'm running away. I'm sprinting. <laughs> <You're> away. Sprinting. <laughs> bro, well, 100% I'm sprinting away. For spit? Yeah, yeah. Because that lady's crazy for her to spit in my face. Something's wrong with her. 
or she has a gun, or she has a knife. Or she, You're going to go out that, of your way and spit in my face, bro. See that tension. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you get spit in your face, like, I feel like I, I got to do something, bro. Because that's disrespectful. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to hit her, obviously, but... <laughs> I gotta, like really, I gotta really. I gotta Thank you for that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, actually, yeah. It's not cancel culture. <clears throat> talk cancer. About cancel culture. I feel like oh, I want cancel to culture. Oh, people I feel are like too I want quick. To have this people are so here. quick. Because Arkham's like a big Twitter guy too, so <laughs> and I want to hear his takes on this too. But people like, are too quick to call, cancel cancel people. Bro, what is the thing behind cancel culture? What cut somebody's pockets? Like, what what, what is the point? To stop making them richer, right? Is that it? Uh, I think they want to hit their ego. They want to hit that person's <clears> ego. <throat> it makes more. That's the. Th- it makes the most sense to me. Like they want to hit their ego. At this, at the same time, they want to hit their wallets, which they won't be able to. I don't know. Like, I, I think it, honestly, I think it's more an internal thing, mm-hmm. where it's like, because certain people you can cancel them, but it's not gonna do. It's not. It's not gonna change much, right? Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. But, like, if I don't fuck with you for some reason, like, enough that to cancel you, that's just me. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with you, right? That's what I'm saying. Shouldn't it just be like that? It's like, you don't fuck with them and not put it out of, like, I don't fuck, for them for, I don't fuck with them for this reason. Yeah. That means everybody should not <clears throat> fuck with them because I don't fuck with them. Like, yeah, that's, that's where I feel like cancel culture is. I don't like that shit. Yeah, that's where it's at. But, like, yeah, you're right. It shouldn't be. It's a lot of group think, and I don't like that shit. It's just, like, sometimes I just, like, I zag when people zig on purpose yeah. because I'm like, fuck people. You know what I mean? Like, like, oh, this person, this, they're canceled. Fuck that. No. Nah, yeah, yeah. like, I just don't. And even, like, uh, the whole Kanye thing is obviously controversial because I love Kanye and, like, Kanye did some fuck shit. A lot of it. And then people Honestly, like, I didn't even listen to people. Like, people said they were going to cancel him. First, I was like, I'm not canceling him. Like, I don't care. I like I like the music. If I don't like the person, I don't care. I like the music. Yeah. yeah. And then people are like, oh, I'm going I'm to cancel him. I'm canceling him. And I said, no one's getting canceled. Watch two, three days from now, everyone's gonna forget. <laughs> They're gonna be that. bumping his album. I told he said that. He's like, I thought I was canceled. <laughs> people got even more mad. <laughs> he said that uh, when the numbers for his album came out. Oh, <laughs> people said I was canceled. I'm like, that's funny. But yeah. we knew what was gonna happen as soon as he dropped. That's what I'm saying. Like, good music is good music, man. But then, what makes me mad is people that say that nah, his music is shit. Did you listen to it? No. <laughs> for XXX. No, it's the people who are shameless about it. It's like, oh, it's trash. Why? Because he's a Trump supporter. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Okay. I feel like X is the more extreme of this because he beat a pregnant woman. Like, Look, he's controversial yeah. himself, but his music was still good. Yeah. I loved his music. That what was that album called? 17, was it? 17, yeah. Yeah, that 17, one, 17. Yeah. Jocelyn Flores, whatever. Mm. That one was just... That was amazing. <sighs> it was, you know, I was way too short, but it was amazing. Yeah, it was really, it was really good, man. So it's really, really emotional and stuff. And then a lot of people didn't give it a try because of what he did. And I'm like, you're missing out on a lot of shit. Like, I don't care. I don't want it. I don't, I don't. And then I saw some people on, people on the internet can be so disgusting. Like, I understand that he did some fucked up shit. Yeah. But then some people were like, oh, I'm so happy he's dead. Oh, man. I, yeah. Like, they were wish. Like, yeah. I understand if someone is an ev- evil person. Wow. But wishing evil upon a person, yeah. that's, like, does that make you feel like a better person? He was fucking 20. 20. Had he been a grown... Okay, it sounds like I'm making an excuse for him. I'm really not. But if had he been like a full-ass, grown-ass man, I would feel like I would have thought differently. No. Yeah, if he was a grown man, I would have been like, it's a rap. Like, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. But I'm just like... Just the fact that... Um, he was a teen a year ago. Bro. Mm. Like, he's been a teen. It's like, it was, like, most of his life, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, he was a heady at month. Yeah, definitely. Mm. But like, people that just say, like, uh, it's comparing him to Hitler or something. I'm like, all right. This is come the on, biggest dude. reach. This is... Come on. I mean, like, with a lot of geniuses, I'm not saying he's a genius, specifically, <laughs> yeah. but, like, even <clears throat> if you consider, like, Kanye a genius, like... Definitely. A lot That's of people... question. A lot of people of that, you know, level of talent are troubled in one way or another. Definitely. They're kind of... They, like, they don't think the same way other people do, right? So mm-hmm. it's like, you gotta, type, you gotta kind of, like, take the good with the bad, mm-hmm. I feel like. You know, that's kind of how it is. That's how it's... Yeah, I mean, it, feels like, it feels like, the, yeah, the most talented so. people are usually the ones going through so much shit. Arkham would pull up Kendrick right now. What is Kendrick going through? No, he would, like, what he just said, Kendrick oh. had a, what was he called again? Um, oh, he was on To Pimp a Blood, Butterfly. Oh, that album. Um, oh, God. Oh, that no, no, no. Album. Stop right there. That piece of shit. I don't know. just kind of If the shit hit the fan, are you still a fan? Which track is that again? Oh, God. That shit should have stayed in the trash. Uh, you know what that shit is? Uh, I 
think it was Mortal Man. <laughs> that's what it is. Huh? Mortal Man. Man. Yeah, Mortal Man. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's exactly what we're saying. Take all the good with all the bad. Yeah. Either you say you're a fan and you take all the good and the bad, or you say you don't fuck with that person and you just like the music. Like, you're a fan of a person. Either you're a fan of the person, you're a fan of the music, or you're both. This is me during the Pimp Butterfly. Yo, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Let, let's just settle this right now. You're a piece of shit. Sometimes. But, look, man, the Pimp Butterfly, for you to say it was amazing. When it first came out, you're it lying. Was. You're lying to both yourself. What? You're lying to your, your family. You're lying to everyone. Look, I'm not going to lie and say I like it on my first listen. There you go. Let's but let's when listen. I went back and listened to it, I realized that it's at the top tier. Like... Well, like, what, what didn't you like about it? it? On my first listen? <laughs> yeah. On my first listen? I just I just wasn't ready for it. It didn't sound good sonically. No. Be honest. Guys, no. What? Okay, no. Sonically, on first my first listen, are you crazy? This nigga went from, what was the album before that? It wasn't, okay. It wasn't, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, on my first listen. It was a good kid, was it? Was it good kid before that? It was, it was good kid, yeah. Was yeah. It? From going, you're going from good kid, which is a freaking movie, and then sonically sounded amazing, because it's like, oh my God, this is like, from the street. Wait, you, so, you're saying, you're saying, listen, 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 not listening, bitch. Listen, bro. No, it wasn't. It was a terrible movie. Okay, you're going from Good Kid, Mad City, and then you're going into this freaking Tapimba Butterfly, which sounds like a bunch of piano keys in a garbage bag. It's jazz. Around. It's, it's jazz, jazz, bro. All right, man, I'm not 65, bro. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it, is what I'm saying. Okay. I wasn't prepared for it. Neither was I. You weren't prepared for it. But never you want to be, bro. This like, is, no, this is what I'm trying to explain. You want to be a jazz nigga, bro. This is what I'm trying to explain. My first time I listened to it, it came out in like, what, 2010? 2011? What? Nigga, it came out in 2014, bro. Or third, was it 13? 14. Oh, I'm sure. 14, 15. Uh, or was it 16? I got it. I got it. Nah, no, not 16. Well, because because Lauren was still that, in high school when it came out. I think it was 2014. Wait. 15. We could, yeah, you're actually right. Maybe. We were in high school when it came oh. out. Oh, I feel old. That's good kid in that city. You no, good, good kid was grade 10, 11. Okay. Yeah, it's a long trip. Good kid was twenty twelve. Well, regardless, it came out. Oh yeah. And I'll admit, I just wasn't. I think twenty fifteen. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what it was. I didn't understand the message. The sound was completely different. I just never heard anything like that. I'm like, how many times did you listen to it? Uh, in entirety. Yeah. Three. Oh no, zero. And this is me trying. Like, it's like it's a, it's a task. Bro, it's, it's like it's strenuous, man. I'm, they're like, oh, please just finish already. Because <laughs> I love music. I love music. Okay, you're just, just, you're just used to the 808s and shit. That's yeah, weird. it's 20, it was March 2015. 2015. Yeah. Oh. We're going to copyright. Don't play it. <laughs> Actually, I'm putting it on soundcloud. No, I wasn't going to play it. Oh, yeah. just, that was an effort. Like, yeah. Bro, it was it was tough to digest that. At first, it sounds good, bro. Honestly. So you didn't like Wesley's theory. Is it too? Is it too lyrical? Wesley's no. theory. It's just like King Kunta, instant. All of it, bro. I can't King Kunta. Wait, nigga, that was for white people. That was. That's not. It. What? All right. All right. Come that on. Was for, that, right. was for, that, was for, that was for cocoa butter Twitter. Was it the black and the girls? That was a hundred percent for cocoa butter. Tell Twitter me, you what didn't touch your heart? You. How much dollar cost? How, How much a dollar cost? How much the dollar cost is? You tell me. <laughs> You're a Kendrick fan, bro. <laughs> so, wait, no, wait. Just answer this. You. It didn't touch you. Bro, I don't remember what that song is. I remember I. I don't remember you. I'm pretty sure you was. Even though you was complicated. Bro, I was amazing, man. Loving you is complicated. Oh, my God. Loving that's what I was like. Complicated. That's what like. You know what? Niggas that can't sing are singing now. And that's what that shit is. Oh, my to. God, bro. Love you is complicated. Love you. <laughs> it's worse. It's really like it's noise you should be making. Oh, right? my God. He was supposed to. The whole concept behind that track was that he was drunk and he was making a message for whatever that girl was. Who, who was the girl, bro? His ex, whoever Shireen. dumped him. Shireen. Shireen. Shireen, man. He, he, it was a drunk message, bro. It was like his internal thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it was just working out listen, himself. Listen, listen. What, what, what would you rate it? What? To be a butterfly. It's not for me. No, what would you rate it? It's, I can't rate it because it's not for me. It's like you rating a... Uh, you can read it up, up to Yeah, but it's like, what the fuck is my opinion? It's I'm not. No, a, I, I see what you're saying. Like, you know I mean? us like, rating country wouldn't be fair. Exactly. We, don't, it's like we, don't like we just don't fuck with it. But it's every single, it's every, it's every it's track we give it like a one or a zero, but it's, it's, it's not for us. It's still hip hop though. That's yeah. the thing, right? So you're talking about a completely different genre, which is fine. Yeah. But this is still hip hop. The Pimple Butterfly was hip hop. It's hip hop. Yeah. Mm, it was hip hop. The Pimple Butterfly was more jazz. It's more jazz. It's hip hop. You just said it was jazz two minutes ago. It's one of the genres, bro. Music is not bound to one genre. We're talking about hip hop, though. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's still hip hop. I'm not watching next year. They watch next year. 
I'm not watching this thing. I agree. People shouldn't give that much credence to those awards, right? Yeah. But, like, I get why people watch, right? It's something, it's, as Gio said, it's in and out, right? Like, people want to tweet about it and stuff, like, as it's happening. Yeah. Right? So. Just because these are one of those beasts. Well, yeah, look, you live tweeting events is, so, is amazing, but the thing is, I don't have a Twitter following, so it's like it's not that fun. But it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, is this what this is for? Yeah. <laughs> is this what this is for? What? It's what? Me? Nah, we grew the camera, bro. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. What else came out in 20. No, Days Before Radio came out in 2014, not 15. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, God. You know what, you know what else came out in 2015? Mm. If you're reading this, mm. I'm going to say it right now. That, al- that album does not get its respect. Bro. It does not get its respect. He didn't write anything. So? What do you, there's no soul, nigga. Like, that hurt my heart. Okay. Listen, I'm, not, I'm not. That was. So, that. okay, so you don't, so you, you don't like Beyonce? She's a pop artist. She's not like. Drake's I don't pop. Turn, like, Drake is pop. Beyonce doesn't point. hit my soul like that. Like, I love Beyonce, but it's not like, I don't, you know. Okay, but a, a lot of their mate. The, but nigga, I was in the shower jumping. Shit. No, 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 Kanye no, no, doesn't write his shit. Come on. Right. And, not, and some of them he does write, but the thing is he did write a whole ass reference track, not just one, multiple. And it's like, bro, really? Like, yeah, but it doesn't change the fact that it's his voice and his delivery. Yeah. If it's it was, barely his delivery, but bro. But if it was someone else, you know it wouldn't have been well, delivered we heard, the same. we heard the Cube and uh, fucking reference tracks, and it was like, running through the six with my own. And Drake just went, running through the six. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's the but, same kind of flow. Mm-hmm. Drake just put his voice on it. So I'm like, yeah, sure, delivery was a little okay, better, but it's okay, really, okay. But had it been like a country song that he turned into a rap, I'd give it more credit. Besides that fact, it's still <laughs> you didn't know my nigga. There's no besides that, bro. That's the biggest thing. Well, I'll say this: like, regardless of what your opinion mm-hmm. is on the ghostwriting stuff, yeah, that, that was the last, probably the last Drake project I'd say that I really enjoyed. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Yeah. You're not wrong, actually. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, you think about it. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what came out really, after that? What else came out since then? Okay, um, more life. More life. More life. Views, views, was, views was trash. Don't give me views. It wasn't trash. It was an okay views playlist. Views was trash. It, it views? Felt, it, it was after okay. After views was when I started thinking, Drake drops the ball every album. After, nothing was the same. Because Take Care Nothing Was The Same For Me are up there. They're like one of his best works. Two it's two best projects. Yeah, yeah, easily, easily. easily. Like he's never he, the, those feelings, man. Like I was really, it was winter, bro. What else? Nothing was the same. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like, I haven't had that feeling since. Scorpion, come on, bro. Come Scorpion, on. oh fuck! I mean, he dropped the bomb. I'm talking about Scorpion, and that's <laughs> why I keep saying numbers ain't shit either. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck about numbers that much, honestly. I hate when people talk numbers. Oh, Yo, people on social media, bro. You know, they, Fifty Cent started that, eh? Fifty and Kanye started that shit. Numbers it's thing, ridiculous, right? yeah, bro. Started making yeah, yeah when they when um it was graduation versus uh massacre was it massacre? No. no. What was the fifty album? It was graduation versus. They're battling out for like. uh yeah, you remember that, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember the record. Twenty. Two thousand eight. No? Yeah. Two thousand eight. Kanye versus fifty. You oh, see, I remember them being on that visa. <laughs> this guy's so unprofessional. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> like you're relax. a piece of shit, bro. Hey, you can see how embarrassed he looks too. You're a fat. <laughs> you're you're. Uh, I don't see it, man. See what the album that it was. Yeah, fifty album, two thousand eight, I think. Was it Curtis? Uh, now it's. I think Nikki's the only one doing it now. Bro, Nikki's crazy. Man. She's crazy. Nikki's crazy. I'm actually worried. Like she's 35 fucking years old, and she's acting like this. Can you imagine your auntie acting like this? Mm. Well, not my auntie at 35, but I'm just saying, 35 is you're up there, mm. and you're acting like this still. It's ridiculous. I don't know, bro. <laughs> she went out a whole baby. <laughs> she really <laughs> needed the baby, bro. Like that's crazy. <laughs> no, because like I, I, I've always like disliked her simply because. I don't know if, that, if you guys have noticed, but does it sound like she talks like a child? I'm a closer. She sounds like a child who knows she's guilty, but she's trying to come off as innocent. Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly the way right? she speaks. She's like, yeah. Think about the way she speaks. It's like that's literally her whole like that's her whole. Like, I didn't want to fight her, her, but like, like that is her whole. That's what she's doing right now, blaming Stormy for her shitty album sales. Or when she was talking about how she's not beefing with Cardi. Oh my god. Bro, it sounds like the biggest bullshit I ever heard. I, just the fact that just every word she said, yeah, I just thought the opposite. 
And I had the full story. And the bullshit she came out with for why her tour is canceled or being pushed to like five years. <laughs> uh, you know, I have to push the album back, blah, blah, blah. Like, nigga, so you know the right? truth. Like, yeah, Charlamagne yeah. honestly just said yeah. it. You're right. Your, just, your fans are broke and they don't fuck with you. God, that sucks. <laughs> that, was, that was really sad. <laughs> you, went, you went off on them, bro. He's like, man, that was, that was sad. That was tough to hear, but, but nah, man, fuck. God bless Nikki, I guess. I don't know. She's, she's a better team, man. She does need a better team. Like, this but is skin bad, bro. It's bad. I've never really been a fan of Nikki. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like, I don't know. There's something about it. They're better female rappers. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Nikki, you see that video of that guy? I mean, that girl who was dancing to Stupid Hoe? Uh, oh, she was right. dancing to Stupid Hoe at the club. Like, you're a Stupid Hoe. You're a Stupid Hoe. Anyway, she was dancing mm-hmm. at the club. Mm-hmm. And she was getting like, her, black, her back blown out, like, daggered, right, by some guy. And then her man was sitting... Right next to Oh, him. yeah, I oh, saw that. I saw that. Was that really a man? No? Yes. Can you confirm this? Let's, let's just agree. Let's just pretend. Okay. okay. Bro. Bro. I'm Bro. A- <laughs> I'm Ubering home. What? You're <laughs> Ubering this <laughs> Nigga, what? Bro, she gets, I'm shooting everyone, bro. Bro. <laughs> she, she disrespects me like that. I'm not even going to deal with her. Bro, I'm, everyone's going to know I'm leaving the club. Like, are you? Bro, I'm shooting everyone. Nah, me? bro. I'm just slinking away quietly and she's bro, never I'm here with me. Yeah. I'm throwing you at the DJ <laughs> table. Shining face to throwing, darkness, bro. Where is it? Oh, that oh. meme. <laughs> nah, man. Oh, man. Nah, man. That, that's not. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. <sighs> Deleting your number, bro. So tell, so tell me, I'm what's the home. point? What's the point of making a scene? I'm now punching. Making... I'm punching so many holes in the wall, bro. But what's the point of that? I'm punching the air. <laughs> I love that bitch, bro. So now you gotta pay for the walls, bro. You made a fool of you yourself. Gotta let it out, man. And she just had her her whole back blown up. <sighs> I'm eating right now like it's real. Like you know, <laughs> nah, bro. I'm walking away and like she's never hearing from me again. Bro, nah, I, I have to. She has to know that I'm angry. Like she has to know she like, can oh, know in the morning. She can know in the nah, morning. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. She has like, to know. Oh, hey, she, like, what happened? I thought we were supposed to Uber she, together. She, she has to know. Nah. That. She can't even text me, hey. Like, she has to be at that point. Like, she can't even text me, hey, the next day. Like, nah, bro. I agree. Something must be done. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta like, throw something at least. <laughs> the water. You gotta. Wait, life. you're a liar. What, what about you? What about me? Did you forget what happened to you? It, that oh. happened to you. Yo! Yeah, <laughs> what did you do? If I could... If what I could what did you do? You <laughs> do? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Tell <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> it was different. Answer, different. My, no, answer my question and I'll let you go. What did you do? I did what you did. But... <laughs> <laughs> but looking back at it... <laughs> I'm old enough. Looking back at it, right? It was last year. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thrown something, bro. Bruh, you would throw something? I would throw something. <laughs> so let's say you throw I would it. Grab the, the closest thing to me, I would just toss it across. He throws it into someone else. else. <laughs> <laughs> they fuck him up. <laughs> Imagine you hit the, the all the bottles at the bar at the yeah. bar. You think you can pay for that? You're paying for that. Oh fuck. Hey, like <laughs> the door. <laughs> like the door. No, oh, here's God. the thing. With that video, the dude was just like sitting there, like kind of accepting it. No, he was stressed. He was like, he was stressed, but he's just sitting there for what? Like, yeah. with me, I just left. I just cut as soon as I saw that. Okay. Oh right? God, bro. She That's had her it. head down, too. She brought it up. She flipped her hair. She's having a blast, bro. <laughs> and her man is, like, 10 inches from her, bro. Mm. Bro, I would have to... Not OJ, bro. <laughs> <laughs> OJ, bro. <laughs> Yo. They're getting the death house, bro. Like, what? <laughs> this is the wrong way. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh my what God. What did I get myself into? Jeez, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't think that was, that was his girlfriend though. Man. Yeah, honestly, it could like, have been like know this, his right? sister or something. It could be because like, he looked kind of embarrassed, but not like because nah, 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 nah. it was like no girl. one would be that calm. You know what you guys are saying? You gotta read the comments. Before I'm talking about the trolls, bro. Nah, 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 they know. They the internet knows all. The yeah. internet knows all. <laughs> You also got to factor in with my situation. That was not my girl. He's still thinking about this. That was not my girl. He's still thinking about it. I want it. He's real. I want it. I should have fucked that nigga up. If I just run the back of my head, I'm like, you know. That was not my girl, bro. It's super different. for sorry, bro. Yeah, but it's mad disrespectful. Of course. Sure, but you know. To be fair, he doesn't say it. Was it like, what, a first date or was it like a second hangout? It was a second date. 
Yeah. Hang on. Uh, hang on. That's what it is. Ooh, yeah. ooh. Oh, okay. Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yo, I'm not editing this out. We don't Yo. know. We don't know. Co- okay, so nobody knows. Look it out. Look it out. That's a lot of money. Wait, so like, oh. oh, my bad. We're not, no names. Come on, man. We're going to expose you too. Yikes. Hey, yo. Oh, man. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, man. Jeez. Anyway. All right. Yo, it's, it's been like 40, 50 minutes. In. All right, yeah. I think this is, this is fine, man. Eh? I think I missed like... I got places so, to be. Yeah, the words. Yeah, word. You have to leave too. So yeah, I guess this is this has been it, guys. Till next time. This is kind of like an outro. Yeah, I, should I leave you, you guys' socials? You guys want your socials? Um, BC will walk his shirt. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Actually, now you know what? Fuck, fuck it. First episode. First nobody episode. Knows. Now. We, we nobody knows who we are. Nobody knows. I read an intro. B L A C. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh shit, we did intro. That's what I'm saying. Now let's keep it like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, no yeah, names, no nothing. You can just give you, you got code names, you know. Like, That's what I'm saying. You know what? We're gonna fire this camera guy. <laughs> He's never coming back. He's never gonna hear his voice. Not gonna hear his little cackle of a laugh. None of that shit, bro. It's out. Alright, done. Yeah.